Good evening, everyone. My name is Shandor, and I'm going to talk about, yeah, it works, about time management. So if I don't make it in five minutes, is it a failure? Well, probably it is, but uh, I hope it won't uh, be so long. So, have you ever had several conflicting activities? Raise your hands. Yeah? Yeah. You know, when everything is important and you must progress, with everything, with every single activity. And you cannot simply eliminate one because, uh, well, that's assigned to you by your manager. So the real problem here is that uh, it's very easy to be consumed just by one activity. You start working on a project, maybe on Monday, and uh, it's already Friday when you realize that you haven't done anything else. So what, what should you do? Well, you have to plan your time. Uh, it's the first step. You should list all your different projects and activities. So I'm going to use some examples here. Maybe you have to work on a reporting project. Maybe you also have a telemetry project. Probably, well, not probably, for sure you have many meetings and ceremonies to attend. Hopefully you dedicate some time for learning. Maybe every day, half an hour, an hour, it will pay off. Maybe you are doing some mentoring in your team or uh, maybe on a broader scope. Uh, and you have to plan some buffer as well in your week. So in the next about three minutes, I'll show you a simple technique how to plan for all of these. And the only technical stuff I will talk about is uh, a spreadsheet. So maybe, well, let's create a table and we'll fill in this table. Uh, in the column headers, you put all these activities that, uh, that you already listed. And then as a first step, you put there either some percentages or some concrete times. I'm sure that your manager wants you to put their 50% for reporting project and 50% for telemetry project, right? That's not going to work. Life is not like that. So maybe you put there 30, 30% and that can be realistic. For other stuff, you can't really put their percentages. You can't say that, oh, I will spend 10% on meetings. No, but probably you can calculate how much time you have to spend on them every, every week. The same goes for learning and, and for other stuff. Then, as the next step, you make sure that uh, each of these have, uh, well, both lines are fully filled and they add up to 100% and to your hours. Maybe for someone in the States it's 60 hours, in France it can be less, but whatever. <laughs> and then you, you translate these to, to tomatoes, to pomodori. Have you ever heard about the pomodoro technique? Who is using it? So, a well, lot of people learned about, uh, know about it. So, what's the pomodoro technique? Well, the pomodoro, the tomato, is uh, a focus timer. So it was a kitchen timer that uh, an engineering student called uh, Francesco Cirillo used in the 1980s. And uh, he called the next stuff as the pomodoro technique. So he set a timer for 25 minutes and uh, focused on one kind of activities, one kind of activity. Then you take a five minute break and maybe after uh, every four pomodoro, you take a longer one. But uh, these rules are not set in stone. You can use your own timings. You can, uh, you can do whatever you want. In fact, the goal is that uh, you take some time when you stay focused. And uh, then you start filling in the numbers. Uh, not at the end of the day. Not, uh, well, not at the end of the day. Maybe after every Pomodoro, maybe after every context switching, so that you know how much time you spend on uh, each activity. And if you do that day by day, and if you haven't spent any time, for example, on the telemetry project by uh, Wednesday, you know that something went uh, sideways. And uh, at the end of the week, well, you end up with a field table, and probably you will not follow your plan completely, but that's fine because uh, it, hasn't, it, it doesn't have to be something very rigid, but it should give you, you know, some, um, some framework, uh, what you want to achieve so you can correct. So key takeaways are that most of us, we have several responsibilities and planning and monitoring help us staying on track. And this is minimal effort, except for the first week, then it won't take a lot. And that's it, thank you. Two seconds left. Oh, <laughs> Thank you.